Welcome. Today's lesson is Food Intolerance and Food Allergies from the University of Arizona FNEP team prepared by Kim Schmieder. In this lesson, you will learn the difference between a food intolerance and a food allergy. They can have the same symptoms or similar symptoms, but a food allergy can be very dangerous and even life-threatening. Let's start with a food intolerance. Food intolerance begins in the digestive system when a person has a difficult time digesting a certain food. This is not life-threatening, but it can cause some uncomfortable symptoms such as eczema or migraines, headaches, depression, or even attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. This chart shows some more uncomfortable symptoms we can have when we have a food intolerance. These are the four most common food intolerances. Lactose, it's a type of a sugar found in dairy products. Gluten, a protein found in some grains. Histamine, it's a naturally occurring chemical found in aged foods. Aged foods such as some wines and cheeses and smoked or preserved meats. And then caffeine. Causes of food intolerance, a missing enzyme needed to fully digest a food. Sometimes as we age or we suffer trauma to our digestive tract, such as surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, we may stop or slow down the production of certain enzymes needed to digest foods. Irritable bowel syndrome, this can make our digestive tract more sensitive and more intolerant of certain foods. Food additives such as dyes, colorings, flavors, flavor enhancers such as MSG and preservatives, and stress can also cause food intolerance. Celiac disease is a true food allergy. This is an allergic reaction to gluten a protein found in wheats and other grains. However, people with celiac disease do not suffer a life-threatening allergic reaction. A food allergy. A food allergy is very different than a food intolerance. A food intolerance involves the digestive system. A food allergy occurs when the body's immune system sees a certain food protein as harmful and triggers an allergic reaction. This allergic reaction could range from very mild to severe and maybe even life-threatening. The allergic reaction can change. You may be able to eat a food once and have a very mild reaction. You may eat it again and have a severe or even a life-threatening reaction. An allergic reaction can happen right after you eat a food or even a few hours later. If you're having an allergic reaction and you experience any of these symptoms, swelling of the tongue, mouth, or face, difficulty breathing, low blood pressure, hives, vomiting, or itchy rash, please seek medical attention. Food allergies can be so dangerous and life-threatening that Congress enacted FALPA, the Food Allergen Labeling and Consumer Protection Act that was effected January 1, 2006. This requires that any food that comes from the eight major food allergen group must be stated on the label. You can usually find this warning below or near the ingredient list. These are the eight major food allergens. Milk allergy. Milk allergy is a response to the proteins in milk, casein, and whey. The milk, casein, and whey will be on a food label. If you do have a food allergy to milk, 
casing or whey. Avoid buttermilk, cream, a diacetyl, a butter-free flavoring, ghee, lactose, and whey. And be careful because some places you may not expect to find milk is an artificial butter flavor, non-dairy creamer, deli meats, hot dogs, canned tuna, and skin and hair products. Egg allergy. You can be allergic to the proteins in the egg white, the egg yolk, or both. If you have an egg allergy, you should avoid the whole egg. Eggs will be listed on the food label and be careful of foods such as liquid egg substitutes, pasta, and foam topping on coffee drinks. Also, egg protein may also be present in vaccines, so always check with your doctor or health provider. Wheat allergy. If you have an allergic reaction to wheat, it may be because of the protein gluten, but there are other proteins in wheat that can cause allergic reactions. Barley, oats, and rice may also contain some of these proteins. Some people have an allergic reaction if they inhale wheat. It's called Baker's asthma. And other people can also have an allergic reaction if you eat wheat a few hours before you exercise. Make sure you check all your food labels and beware that beer, candy, soy sauce, deli meats, ice cream, and imitation crab meat can also contain wheat. Peanut allergy. Peanuts are part of the legume family, which include soybeans, peas, lentils, and beans. People who are allergic to peanuts are more likely allergic to tree nuts and legumes. Read labels carefully. Peanuts can also be found in chili sauce, pancakes, egg rolls, sunflower seed butter, and ice cream. It can also be found in pet food and skincare products. Tree nut allergy. There are many types of tree nuts, walnuts, pecans, almonds, and if you're allergic to one tree nut, you're more likely to be allergic to others. Read labels carefully. Tree nuts can be found in cereals, crackers, cookies, candy, and chocolates, and also pesto, barbecue sauces, and some cold cuts. Many lotions, soaps, and shampoos contain tree nut oils. Soy allergy. Soy is part of the legume family and people with a soy allergy may also be allergic to peanuts and beans. Read labels carefully because soy can be added to canned tuna, low-fat peanut butter, sauces, soaps, and moisturizers. Fish allergy. If you have a fish allergy, you're allergic to the proteins in finned fish like tuna, cod, halibut, or salmon. Most people have an allergic reaction after eating fish, but some have a reaction after touching it or breathing it while the fish is being cooked. If you do have a fish allergy, avoid eating at seafood restaurants because of the risk of cross-contamination. If you order french fries at a seafood restaurant, the fish and the fries may be cooked in the same oil. Fish can be found in some surprising foods like Caesar salad dressing, artificial seafood, Worcestershire sauce, barbecue sauce, and kosher gelatin, which is made from fish bones. Shellfish allergy. Shellfish are divided into two types, crustacean, shrimp, crab, and lobster, and mullets, clams, oysters, mussels, and scallops. Crustacean shellfish allergies are the most common and tend to be the most severe. Crustacean shellfish are considered part of the eight major food allergies and must be on the product label. Mollusks are not considered a major allergen and may or may not be on a product label. If you do have a shellfish allergy, avoid seafood restaurants because of cross-contamination and some unexpected places you may find shellfish include glucosamine, a supplement, and seafood flavoring. If you suspect you have a food intolerance or a food allergy, it's important to consult with your health provider. Food intolerances are uncomfortable and a food allergy 
can be dangerous and life-threatening. If you would like more information on food intolerances and food allergies, here are some references. Thank you for joining me. Please follow us on Facebook at U of A Community Nutrition Education FNEP Pima County and please check out our YouTube channel Pima Community Nutrition Education FNEP.